So I'm going to walk you through how to scan yourself. So you're going to find the program Reconstruct Me, which looks like this, and open it up. And it might have to do a little thinking here. There it goes. So you're going to see when you first log in and first try and use the scanner that it says, please configure your sensor. So what that means is you need to go over to device and we have to tell it what kind of sensor or scanner we're using. So we have the Microsoft Connect. So you're just gonna click that and then it's going to kind of do its thing. It does take a minute or so. Um, once it does say setup complete, you can go back to volume, which is kind of that main screen. And if someone is in the scanning field like I am now, you'll be able to see them in the blue box. So whoever's getting scanned is going to wanna to be as much in the center of the box as possible. So not too close where it doesn't even read it. Not too far in the back or off the side. So try and get centered in there. And then someone else will probably wanna click start. There I am. So it's gonna count you down. And then you have 60 seconds to slowly spin around in a circle. I'm not gonna be able to do it very well since I'm videotaping myself. Um, so slowly keeping your head as straight as possible, not turning your head, or else you're gonna get really funky looking like I just did. Um, and then at the end, you're gonna wanna end facing the camera and like hold that for five, 10 seconds cause that'll really clean up your face. And if you did move at all, it'll fix that. So I would stay there until the time runs out normally. I'm just gonna click finish. And then since I didn't spin all the way around, I can't see the back part of me, but you can even see I'm holding my little blue phone there. And um, from here, so you can see I'm holding my blue phone. So you can kind of preview what you look like. You're gonna have a hole on the bottom and the top of your head, especially if you're tall. Um, we can try and put some books or something underneath it here too to help bring it up a little bit if you are really tall. But once you're all done, you're gonna click save. And this is where it's really important, the, the um, type of file. We want an STL. So it's going to default with this PLY. You need to click STL or else you're going to have to rescan yourself. So I'm just going to give it a little name. And I would recommend putting it in your, your network drive. So if you go to this PC and put it in, it'll have your username there. So this is mine. You can see I have some other scans and stuff there and save it there. Cause that way, no matter what computer you are logged into, it'll be in there. Um, if you are doing this with a partner, you can throw your partner's head in there cause then it'll never get lost, but you will need to send that file to them another way as well. Um, Google Drive is probably the easiest and I'll show you guys another video on how to do that. Oh, um, it will pop up after you click save. Um, it just says it won't support color. The color won't get saved on your file, but that's okay. You'll just click ignore. It'll save. There we go.